In this week's episode, we encounter mice, stay at free campsites, drive through checkpoints, dream about far off places, and basically enjoy life together. But things take a twist. Due to a minor computer problem, we returned to Guero Negro. We took a bumpy road to the campsite by the old lighthouse where we had been before. We stayed there a few days while editing last week's video. And then we encountered the third mouse. Kiki bit the first mouse. The second mouse we chased out the side door. Now at this campground, Kiki discovered yet another invader. Alert. There is the mouse. Oh my god, it's so cute though. Wow. I can see the mouse. Mm -hmm. We have footage of the mouse. Wow. There's the mouse. That's what Kiki's been thinking about. That's what Kiki's been thinking about all day. Yep. Sweetie. I don't know why the mouse wants to stay in here. I'm I'm touch I have live footage of me touching it. I'm poking the mouse. Oh, poking the mouse the mouse is like well. The mouse is not moving. Like, I'm not moving. I don't want to get out because there's a cat. From Guero Negro, which is on the Pacific Ocean side of Baja, we drove to Santa Rosalia, which is on the eastern side. take a shower at the gas station again. Yes. I am going to start because last time it got cold. So I'm going to have a hot shower. And I might have the cold shower. Relationships require compromise. Now, over to me. Hola. 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 Muy bien, ¿y tú? Bien, gracias. ¿Dónde vienes? Santa Rosalía. ¿Cómo from? Guerrero Negro. Guerrero Negro. ¿Paquillo? Sí. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Gracias. We camped at the marina, right next to a noisy bus station. We explored the city and marveled at the smooth stones on the black sand beach. What did you find, Cal? Well, they're beautiful. They're mosaic rocks. They've been specially constructed by happenstance. A fellow gringa is helping us make our way through Mulage. We have landed in Mulege. 
and we are camping on the outskirts of the Hotel Serenidad and there's a lighthouse in view and the uh, Sea of Cortez is next to us as well. <laughs> Many seagulls and pelicans on this island. How will they behave when we walk out here? Will they fly away? Will they just walk respectively to one side? Or will they attack? You do not want to fall down here. Pooping rock. It's the last bit of sun for the solar panels today. There's the Starlink. It's been working great, even in remote Mexico. Back of the Argosy is dusty. Warm up engine. And we say goodbye to a wonderful spot south of Muleje. Is that how you say it? Mm. I never looked it up. I think it's Muleje. Muleje. And there's the island that we walked on recently and now you can't get out there because it's uh, high tide. Final step, check for Kiki. This is a pretty tight fit right here. Well, the horses are coming by. This is very nice. We've turned off the car because I feel like horses don't really want to walk by the sound of a motor, you know, because they're natural beings and and they like it just relaxed. And... This is the back end of Hotel Serenidad, and look at that plane over there. These are a bunch. Of, there's a few planes that fly in. This would be lovely to do if you know how to do that. We have arrived at Dolphin Bay. The water is so clear here. We passed a lot of campsites that you had to pay to stay at, and that were packed with other people. And I prefer to stay at campsites that are free, and no one else is here. As always, we have Eye Overlander to thank for being available for free, and for the people who put in the information in Eye Overlander, fellow campers from all over the world, different eras of time. Thanks. Momo chose to walk. One thing I really like about vacations is the way that everyone can decide they can just do whatever they want. If they want to take a nap, that's fine. If they want to eat something, you just do what you want to do. Take a walk. In my case, I'm wading. I'm wading with my water shoes on. Water is really clear and refreshing. It's the nature of a vacation. You can just do what you want to do. Whenever you want to do it. For as long as you feel like it. I really would 
like to have a monocular. Not a binocular, but a monocular, because monoculars, I, I don't know about you, but whenever I look into binoculars, I always close one of my eyes, because when I have both, they just don't work, and I've tried everything. But monoculars are perfect, and I would use my monocular, and I would look over there and see those people, and I could tell, because one of them was waving back and forth, and I don't know if that is because they're being athletic, or if they're just having fun, or if it's an art form. Maybe they're doing Tai Chi. Well, it was like over the head waving. Maybe it's Qigong. Oh, well, yes, probably that's what it is. Let's see, what would I want? Hmm. I would want LASIK eye surgery, and I would like a shower in the motorhome. Being in Japan, number one. Number two, narrow boating in England. Number three, probably some type of wildlife expedition in the Amazonian jungle. That is not easy though, and but still. And then four, probably some wildlife safari in Africa. Five, yoga temples in India. Wow, that's a great list. <laughs> it is. Okay. That's a great Cal list. Cal has learned about me just now. vultures on top of the cactuses here, the Paulo Verde, and over here there's a seagull on top of that one. That seagull wants to be a vulture and has left all of the seagull friends behind. The seagull friends are saying, where did Ernie go? Why is Ernie sitting up there with the vultures? And it's because Ernie wants to be a vulture and is tired of being a seagull. And the vultures are over here looking at Ernie and saying, Ernie, you are not a vulture. You are a seagull. You should just go and drop clams. And they say, we are too cool for you. Well, look, we are in our shiny black outfits. This is how this is how cool people are. And look at you. You are you you haven't even decided whether you're white or gray. And this seagull is very special to me because this seagull is interested in more than just being a seagull. Yeah, it wants to, it doesn't care that it's losing status by joining, by being shunned by the black gang. It still is like, yeah, man, I want to be a part of it anyway and sit on the cactus with them. We've come back from our walk where we met a fellow who turns out he was from China and he is riding his bicycle. He started in New York City and rode all the way here to Baja Sur and is heading down south. Also, he's been to India and half of China. Where else? Did, did he say anywhere else? I think that's it. That's maybe it. On his bike. On his bike. And wow. So we're very impressed. We've been out wandering for about two months now. It is late February. We didn't expect the weather to be hot. Sometimes, when driving the Argosy, the interior would reach 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I put up these solar reflectors at the windows. And I think it's worth it because the wind that's coming in for the windows is warm. And I do worry about Kiki, but she seems okay. Wow, so beautiful. I know. Thank you guys for presentation. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. We're having lunch. This is the first. This is the first time we've eaten out in eaten Mexico. Out. Yes. Look at this. Warm. At Waikura. Yes. Waikura and Loreto. Yeah. 
It's a dolphin trash can. Look at that. You put what the trash in this dolphin's mouth so it doesn't end up in the other dolphin's mouth. There you go, everybody. Oh, is that their Instagram name? Mm -hmm. Tequila. La, la Chilo Rojo. We like how it looks, right? Because it's like a... It's kind of like a whale. It's like a frog whale. It's like a frog whale. No, it's a whale. It's a whale. It's, it's like... It's a whale. It's kind of... It's like a cartoon version of a whale. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's funny looking. It even has a, a top thing. It's like a bubble. <laughs> like a sperm whale. No, I'm just kidding. Sperm? It's, yeah, sperm Did whales. Did you say sperm on YouTube? Oh my god. That's not allowed. Sperm. Whales sperm. exist. Sperm. Somebody said sperm. Sperm. Oh. Sperm. Spermatica. Well, anyway, back to the... <laughs> <laughs> Closer you get, the more it's like, oh, what's... <laughs> Things are... Things are a little bit rugged once you get up close and you're like, oh dear, that's where I hit a deer. Momo? Yeah? What you doing? I'm looking in the pantry for dinner items. Kiki? Why are you on the table? <laughs> Goodness we gracious. We told her it I don't think we need that level of light. We told her it was loud because we have mercy on her soul. It was loud. She's so cute. She got, her, she got her flea medication today and she's kind of irritated. Oh, sweetie. Come on. The next day we left early. Due to excessive heat, we decided to drive to the Pacific side. The water is green. Very tempted to look around, but I have to watch the road. Wow, wow. What we need to have is a Spanish galleon out there on anchor. We stopped at Ciudad Constitucion for laundry, water, and lunch. Cal has found a random hose. Yes. Water. It's just coming out. It's just coming out. So, we're gonna use it, I guess. Well, we thought we were doing things very efficiently without a cinch, but then I had some weird cloth in the laundry that made it melt in the dryer. So Cal had to get the multi-tool. Could I mention that these are propane fired dryers? They are very hot. Extra hot. Extra hot propane dryers in Mexico. Be very careful about what you put in because if it's any type of nylon or polyester or that's my, it's gonna melt. Momo putting the final touches we eat Mexican food in Mexico. Yes, of course. Claro, Casey. Oh, it's going to be so good. By the afternoon, we were on a dusty, sandy road, making our way 10 miles through the desert to get to the cliffs of the Pacific Ocean. Cal has reduced the tire pressure and the tires for this sandy road that we're on. We're right along a cliff, a ravine. This is very bumpy. Very bumpy. That part of it has fallen off a little bit. Oh, 
adventure to be had in this world. How many people would take a vintage? Almost 50 year old motorhome. Oh, oh! In the middle of nowhere. On deflated tires. Bouncing around. Could break down at any minute. You get stuck in the sand pit at any minute. to imagine this Argosy was in our driveway not even in the driveway but okay it's hard to imagine this Argosy was in our yard in Athens Georgia all these same items and now it's here Pacific Ocean